Welcome back. We're here in one of our favorite bays in Mallorca and we've got some family coming to visit for a few days. We always love being able to welcome friends and family on board and have some fun on the water together. We made the most of having a car rental whilst everyone was here to go and explore inland and go to places we wouldn't be able to get to as easily with the boat. So then we've gone for a hike today because it's the most overcast day that we're going to have this whole week. So far so good, a little bit sweaty because it's a bit humid but it's uh, beautiful, we're starting the climb now so see what awaits at the top. This part of the island is called the Cap de Forventor, which is probably our favorite part. It's a narrow 20 kilometer long peninsula with rugged cliffs giving spectacular views on both sides. Oh yeah, so we had our boat there last time. We were also keen to discover something else that Mallorca had on offer that we hadn't experienced yet. It's wine. Apparently Mallorcan wines were very famous in ancient Roman times, but somehow it's not somewhere we associated with wine until we went and tried some ourselves. <laughs> they have grapes native to the island here, and the climate as well as the mountain and sea lends itself really well to the growing of grapes. So we're going on another hike, but it's only a short one this morning, just like a morning walk, about an hour or two. And apparently there's some really nice views at the top. Again, I should probably not film as I'm going up a hill because I'm always out of breath. This is a walk that you can get to from Poyensa Old Town. It takes you up to the Santuari de la Mare, which is an old religious site from the 14th century with beautiful views over the Bay of Poyensa and the Cap de Formentor. Also, if Mallorca should ever have a national animal, it should definitely be the goat. Everywhere we've been, we've always been welcomed by goats, all colors, shapes and sizes. We then went to check out the old town of Puyensa itself. It's so picturesque here. It really feels like your traditional Mediterranean village with the stone houses, pastel colors and cobbled streets decorated with plenty of plants and flowers. One thing that's special about Poyensa Old Town though is the Calvari steps. At the top of the village, there are 365 steps, all lined with cypress trees that lead all the way up to the Calvario church. The whole town is charming, so I'd really recommend a visit. Poyensa is such a cute town, I really, I really like it. Oh. Okay, oh. I don't know where he's going. And that street, especially those steps up to the church, we've been talking about doing them for days and just putting it off. And we finally yeah. checked the box just in time. Super interesting. So we're back on the move again, and we left Puyansa this morning to head back to Soyer. It's been another one of those days where we've had kind of unpredictable winds. We've got the wind behind us now and it's picked up a bit, which is great. But we've tried to pull out the headsail. And as soon as we've done that, the wind's shifted and now we've got it on a beam reach. So just waiting to see where it settles, but I'm not sure if it ever will. Classic, isn't it? Like you get, get the pole out, get everything, you know, ready to run down wind. And then as soon as it's out, the wind shifts 90 degrees. <laughs> but I think it's going to shift back. So let's just leave it out.
super. We then left the boat in Soyer to stay in a gorgeous Airbnb for a few days with everyone. It turned out to be in the most amazing location, nestled among the hills and home to two beautiful donkeys. We have arrived. Wait, <laughs> it's this kind of experience you really miss on a boat. Just the open space, the ease, the kind of Mmm, niceness of it all. I have a bit of a work day tomorrow and just the thought of being able to wake up here and have a really nice place to work is so good. <laughs> and not be baking in the cockpit with uh, the inverter trying to electrocute me every five minutes. <laughs> The next day, we went on yet another hike up to the Castel de Laro. At 815 meters high, it was one of the three main castles in Mallorca that used to serve as defense and protection on the island. So apparently this used to be an old castle. And it's all the way up here, it must have been impossible to get to. But there's just the remains of the entrance to the, the castle gates. It's crazy to think that people used to live up here. It's always so nice to have a couple of days break away from the boat. Having access to space, firm ground and predictability is not something you take for granted when you live on a boat. Then I went back to Palma for another adventure, taking the old wooden train back to Soyer. The train was launched in 1912 and run between Palma and Soyer as part of the lemon and orange trade to bring all the citrus fruit that was grown in the Soyed region across to Palma. It's sometimes referred to as the Orange Express. Today, it's more of an attraction. Not only is it a cool experience to ride in an old train, but the route it takes you on is also stunning. It takes you through the plains, and then you wind through the mountains until you reach the citrus tree crops around Soyed. It is quite pricey, but the views make up for it. We were on our way again and continued back down the coast to a coastal town called Santel, another beautiful Mediterranean bay. Shame you have to use mooring boys here or we would have stayed for longer. African sand wind <laughs> <laughs> whilst we were away. And look at that. Wow. It's so dirty.
thank you so much for watching this far and special thanks to our patrons for supporting the production of these videos. 